December 29, practicing unconditional love, loving without conditions, needs, practicing, and forgiveness when we falter. Stand inside a heart and just love. I wonder sometimes if we have children so we can practice unconditional love. There is so much purity and simplicity in this kind of loving. I'm so, I sometimes catch glimpses of it on my way to counting, predicting, or rehearsing love. Predicting or rehearsing love. I have also been mean to myself when I was unable to unconditionally love. I think we must practice a lot on ourselves. Unconditional loving is an art for everyday use. Finding silence. If you have followed this inquiry into what is meditation and have understood the whole process of thinking you will find that the mind that is completely still in that total stillness of the mind there is no watcher no observer and therefore no experiencer at all there is no entity who is gathering experience which is the activity of a self-centered mind don't say that is samadhi which is all nonsense because you have only read of it in some book and have not discovered it for yourself. There is a vast difference between the word and the thing. The word is not the thing, and the word door is not the door. So to meditate is to purge the mind of its self-centered activity. And if you have come this far in meditation, you will find there is silence, a total emptiness. The mind is uncontaminated by society, which is it is no longer subject to any influence, to the pressure of any desire. It is completely alone, and being alone, untouched, it is innocent. Therefore, there is a possibility for that which is timeless, eternal, to come into being. The whole process is meditation. December 29. Do something beautiful for God. The Essential Teachings of Mother Teresa of Calcutta. December 29. There is more hunger in the world for love and appreciation than for food. Day 4 of Joy to the World Book of Luke, chapter 19, verse 40 If they kept quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers.